So I'm here at a Baptist church. It is Friday night and we just got finished with a service. Um, they brought me in and Pure Life in to talk specifically about sexuality. Um, it was a great service, powerful worship, and I really felt during worship I was supposed to give an altar call for salvation. And so before I spoke, um, I just threw it out there. If anyone's here, um, you know, we want to pray for you. And uh, three people, three men stood up and, and prayed to pray to receive Christ. And so really grateful um, uh, to see how God's touching lives. We were able to pray with them. And I shared a message, a lot of my testimony, and also just some practical biblical teaching on sexuality and how to get free. Um, afterwards, we had an altar call for anyone who may be struggling or knew somebody who was to come up. Um, and the Lord really ministered to quite a few people. Um, some people were very broken. Um, just some were coming for friends and they were, they were crying out to the Lord for them. And so we had a good time of prayer. Um, and then afterwards, I just had a chance to speak to a few people um, who re rededicated their life and, and who gave their lives to Christ. And so thank God for souls being touched, uh, for the truth growing out. Um, I've one thing that's been unique about this trip is now that pile of masses in Portuguese I've at every service been asked to sign a bunch of books But I'm really grateful because all the proceeds are going to pure life Brazil uh, for that work And um, it's amazing to see how the message is getting out to people here in Brazil and, and so we sold quite a few books over the last few days and I'm just grateful that the Lord uh, The message that he gave me through what he brought me through is getting out to people and I, I really believe he'll use that as seed and um, uh, That their lives will be transformed and so uh, it was a good service tonight. Uh, tomorrow, I'll be going to see uh, Pure Life's property with their campus where they're at now. It's different. Last time I came, they were in a different place. So now they're on a farm, and I'm looking forward to that. And then we've got another service uh, tomorrow night at another church in town. So uh, just grateful for what God's doing, and um, it, it's been a blessing to be here. It's Saturday afternoon, and I am here at Pure Life's uh, new property that they're renting. Um, last time I came, they were in a smaller place. It just had a few beds for the guys that were in the program, and it was in the middle of a town, and it just wasn't a great, very conducive. There was a lot of temptation. The guys were able to walk uh, just anywhere they wanted. Um, it was very easy to access the things of this world, so um, they prayed, and last time I was here, Paula was driving around and was saying how much she would love to have a farm property. So the Lord actually provided this, um, and they're renting it. Um, for a good price. Um, the, the property behind me, it's, it's really big. It's got um, beds for about, they'll have a space for about nine guys, space for housing. They've got chapel area. They've got um, a really big kitchen and a place to grill uh, food. Um, they've got some offices out, outside, a bunch of fruit trees. I mean, this place is really amazing, really beautiful. And the owner's gonna be selling the property and is pressuring them to either buy it or give it to someone else. And so um, the, the, cost that, or the, the cost of the property is about half of what it's worth. And so it's really an incredible deal. Um, but they're praying, if it's the Lord's will, to provide the funds because uh, they don't have uh, the money to buy the property. And so they've got a deadline uh, between now and about January um, to basically either come up with the money or their owner's saying they're going to sell it to someone else. And so um, it's super peaceful. Um, it's pretty amazing property. This is uh, the living room where the guys would be uh, are able to stay. They did have students. They've had their first last year's batch of students have graduated and moved on. And so now they're bringing new students in. And so there's one here right now um, and a, several more are coming over the next couple of months. Um, but I just wanted to walk the property um, just to kind of show everybody um, what it looked like. Behind me is the oven where they can grill. Um, this is the big kitchen area. Um, there's staff housing. I mean, it's, this is a really incredible property and uh, they have a vision for, they've got a garden on the side. They've got a bunch of fruit trees uh, growing throughout the property. And if you look at this view in the back, it's pretty incredible. So they've got a vision for um, having a prayer trail out here. They're cleaning up the property now, um, trying to just uh, get things set up and not wanting to spend too much money on remodeling and fixing it up because obviously if they're just renting it and they're gonna have to lose it, um, that money will go uh, to someone else. So um, they're just asking for prayer and I wanted to reach out as we're doing these videos um, and just say, hey, please uh, pray for Pure Life Brazil that if this is the place that they want, that God will provide the funds. Um, if they do a fundraising campaign, I'll share the information. Um, if that becomes their, their goal to get this and they're going to move forward with it, I'll let people know. Um, but please be in prayer for the program because if they have to leave, they're going to have to try to find another place and uh, maybe end up in the same situation. But 
Uh, pray for the students here that are coming this year. Pray for the staff as they're making these decisions um, that they'll know what to do and they'll be able to discern God's will. And if it's the Lord's will uh, for them to have this property, that God will provide the means. So uh, it's really a beautiful place. I can see uh, the potential of guys coming here to get free from sin in their lives and um, sent out from this place into back into the world uh, to live for Jesus.